Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter Magnetic Effect of Electric Current. All those aspects of electromagnetism we discussed in the previous video. Today we are going to discuss the domestic circuit or how is wiring done in our household. In electricity chapter we already learned there are two types of connections. One is parallel connection and a series connection. We already dealt with their uh, pros and cons. Uh, here in domestic circuits we are following parallel connection. So from where are we getting the electricity? It is from the electricity board. The government is applying to us electricity from the power stations. It is brought to uh, the house through aluminium transmission lines. In the previous chapter we learned why aluminium is used because it has got a low resistivity and also though silver is the best conductor we prefer aluminium because it is cheaper in metals and non-metals chapter also we learn. So now when it is coming like that transmission lines what happens near our house there will be an electric pole. From that electric pole we will be drawing current into our house. Here we have to understand that there are two wires coming from the electric pole to our house. They are a red wire and a black wire called the live wire and a neutral wire respectively. Actually the live wire is of having red insulation and it is the as the name indicates it's live. Live means it has electricity in it. It has a voltage of 220 volt. That is usually in India in a household we are provided with a 220 volt. So in the questions if uh, you are given 220 you can use that. Sometimes 230 will be given. Otherwise by default you have to take 220 as the voltage for the domestic circuit. Whereas the black wire is the neutral wire. So this is 0 volt. This is uh, 220 volt so the difference is potential difference between them is 220 volt which is available to our house so this live wire and uh, neutral wire which are coming from the nearby pole is first entering into a fuse box that is by electricity board it is just fitted outside our house in normal cases and we don't have access to it it is fitted by them so uh, this fuse has a rating of almost 50 ampere. So if a very large current is coming into our house from outside, this fuse will cut off and save our appliances inside our house. From there, it is connected to a meter board. Meter board is also owned by the electricity board because they want to calculate how much energy we are consuming every month according to that we have to pay the money also so to calculate that they have a meter board these two are fitted by them now from here these two lines or wires enter into the domestic circuit system this is our main switch it has got the main fuse of our house and also the uh, main switch for switching off or controlling the entire appliances inside our houses Inside this main switch, the fuse is consumer's fuse, it's our fuse. So here, first this live wire is entering through this. We have actually two types of uh, circuits in our household. One is called a lighting circuit, the other one is called a power circuit. The lighting circuit involves the gadgets which are using less power, that is for example, light, uh, bulb, uh, that is tube light, bulb, fan, TV, radio, all these are having less power. So they are all connected with a circuit system that is called a light circuit or lighting circuit whereas the next is called a power circuit power circuit involves all the gadgets which requires more power or heavy gadgets we can say for example room heater geyser then our uh, electric uh, uh, stove if we have electric oven or um, uh, refrigerators air conditioner all these are drawing a large amount of current so they are heavy equipments they are all connected using a different connection that is called a power circuit so two circuits are there lighting circuits and a power circuits so lighting circuits takes uh, through that small current is flowing so there is a fuse wire to protect all of them that fuse wire is uh, rated 5 ampere only Whereas if it is a power uh, circuit then it needs a higher rating of a fuse that is 10 ampere we use. Now this lighting circuit and power circuit whichever so how many uh, circuits we have all these circuits are connected in parallel connection because if one circuit suppose for example our uh, fridge is getting uh, damaged due to some reason then it may cut off the power in the heavy gadgets but still our bulb light fan all will work because they are not connected to the circuit. So one controls a uh, complete circuit will stop, the other one will still work. That's why we are connecting it in parallel. Otherwise everything will blow off, right? Now, so uh, 
uh, live wire so every gadget will receive a live wire and a neutral wire, wire will go out of it and go back so only then the circuit will be complete okay so this red wire live wire is coming through a fuse why it is fuse is connected to the live wire because the potential current is passing through that so it is coming here and then it is connected to one pole of a gadget it can be a bulb or a fan whatever it is then other one what is going out a neutral wire which is black in color will be going out so the second one is here third one is here but you can see in all these cases uh, this is parallel connection right each one is parallel connection why are we preferring parallel connection here first reason is we can operate them individually they all have their own switches but you can see the switch is connected to the live wire because we want to put off the current right so power, uh, live wire has the switches so every appliance can be operated individually irrespective of the other one i can make switch on the ac at one time i can switch off the fan other time like that second advantage is that the same voltage will be available to every uh, gadget for example suppose imagine these are three lights in my room suppose if it is in series connection what happens the voltage will get distributed among the three so the bulb may not or the light may not glow fully but here since equal voltage is available they all will glow properly so because of this we are having parallel connection in our household so suppose this is 5 ampere one we'll see how can we connect the 15 ampere one also before moving on let me tell you this power uh, rating is a 15 ampere okay so now uh, the second connection we can give another circuit which is parallel to this this is the lighting circuit with the 5 ampere now the next is the power circuit with the 15 ampere and then it is connected parallel to this and uh, from there the neutral wire is going out okay so here also each one is parallel but uh, now we are going to think about the safety measures that we have to follow the reason is electricity is very dangerous we know if you get electric shock it can be life threatening as well and catching fire is another hazard all these can happen uh, if uh, due to some wear and tear or some damage to the appliances or the way we are handling it very carelessly all these can affect so usually uh, there can be uh, the damage to the insulated wire of the live wire that is uh, it may be nibbled by rats or some insects or uh, sometimes we fold the wire all the time so that may break at that point uh, so in such case if that live wire comes in contact with the metallic body of the appliance for example iron box and all nowadays it's coming plastic but otherwise some metallic parts will be there so there is a chance that the electricity flows through the metallic part fridge also we know the outside of the fridge is the metallic so it can flow through the gadget and if you happen to touch that gadget the current will flow through your body and goes down to the earth in such case you will get electric shock but if you are wearing a slippers the rubber slipper or plastic one which is not wet then what happens the circuit will break when it reaches your slippers it won't go to the earth so you will not get electric shock that's why we always say while handling iron box and all we have to wear slippers otherwise if you stand on a wooden uh, plank also nothing will happen because circuit is not complete but if it happens to pass through you and go down to the earth definitely there will be electric shock so how can we avoid such dangerous situations to avoid this we are doing a th uh, the something called a earthing that is here you can see these pins are all three pin plugs there are two pin plugs and a three pin plugs in this you are seeing a two pin plug so there is only live and neutral wire connection this is coming uh, usually for this lightning circuit because current is less but the heavy gadgets like a refrigerator or electric iron and all they come with a three pin plug for our safety because the third one uh, in the third pin is for a earth wire so apart from the earth wire and the neutral wire there comes a third wire that is called a earth wire which is green in color so the earth wire will be connected to the metallic part of the body so as a result if there is any current flowing through it the current will prefer to go through the earth wire which is of low resistance than our body so even if i am touching the current would prefer to go through the earth wire 
right instead of passing through my body and where is this earth wire going to the other end of the earth wire is connected to a copper plate and it is buried deep under the earth near our house so the excess electricity will flow down through this earth wire and it will be going into the earth so we don't get electric shock so this is a safety measure used in heavy gadgets one hazardous effect of electricity just now we discussed if there is a flow of current through the metallic body of the gadget we may get electric shock now the second situation is uh, the extremely large current flows through a circuit that is more than what is required this can happen because of two reasons one short circuiting two overloading so we have to clearly understand these two things what is short circuiting short circuiting means sometimes live wire and neutral wire may come in contact because they lose their insulation and they touch each other so in such a situation if these two come together the resistance will drop down leading to high amount of current flowing through it it will raise the temperature and result in catching fire so this condition is called a short circuiting the same way another reason is overloading as the name indicates load is high that is when we are using heavy appliances as we mentioned earlier many heavy appliances are used simultaneously then a large amount of current is drawn from the circuit that can also lead to fire and it is due to another reason also in a single socket we are using many uh, gadgets for example uh, there is a plug point in the kitchen you are keeping refrigerator there uh, electric oven is there and mix uh, or uh, this toaster or something and you, you operate all of them together there is a chance of overloading okay so in such situations how can we avoid the danger for that we are using fuse wires that is electric fuse electric fuse is a metallic wire made up of copper but it is not having the thickness of the normal conducting wire it is thinner than that it's a thin wire and it is not made of pure copper but because its melting point is high if it is pure copper but here we are using tin plated copper with a low melting point so whenever there is an excess current flowing naturally temperature will increase that will be enough for melting the uh, fuse and as a result the circuit will break so imagine if it is lighting circuit its a rating is 5 ampere so if any current more than 5 ampere is coming through it and uh, make sure that these gadgets all are working under 5 ampere right so if it is more than 5 ampere this fuse will melt so as a result the circuit is broken all these appliances will stop working in a way we are uh, saving them from damage the same way 15 ampere current uh, high rating is given for the power circuit so if more than 15 ampere this will blow off melt and break the circuit so these gadgets are safe now and we can avoid the uh, danger of catching fire also so in these cases uh, after this process what we have to do we have to replace it with another fuse wire otherwise the system will not work so another fuse wire we have to replace so that this will work again until uh, there is undue flow of current in the next time okay but these days we are using a different system in our households so usually uh, the, the fuse wire is coming in 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 5 ampere 10 ampere 13 ampere 15 ampere ratings but we are using mainly two uh, 5 ampere and uh, 15 ampere in our household for two different circuits but these days you don't find this kind of conventional fuse wire and all but instead of that we are using mcb system that is uh, miniature circuit breaker system so there instead of this melting of this uh, fuse wire if there is an excess flow of current it will get switched off then we have to just go and switch it back you must have seen it in your house uh, when you enter inside the house there will be a box with the many switches so there will be a main switch which you can put off and if there is undue flow it will automatically go off so in such cases we have to go and put it back but you don't do that uh, with the help of your adult or a supervision only you have to go near that and uh, see that if you want to so these are the things that we have to remember uh, in this chapter hope you understood the lesson i will try to make another video of all important questions in this chapter uh, till then stay blessed thank you for watching